Hi there, this is my first solar project. This is a manual hybrid, which means it has a on-grid or grid tie inverter and a off-grid component, that's a charge controller, and an inverter. So, this, I have two panels. Uh, it's just a one 200 watt and another 200 watt. VMP is at uh, 40 volts, IMP is at 5 amps. So I've connected it, connected it this way so I could separate it to each component if I want to. But I could also run it at the same time since this is in parallel. I could run it, I could choose to run purely on off grid or I can choose to run purely on on grid. This is a special grid tie inverter. It's a GTIL. So it's produced by Mass Power. It's a Sun 100G model. Its output is about 220 to 240 volts at 60 Hz. So, what's special about this grid tie inverter is it has a limiter. This limiter, so I modified the panel board of the house such that the main distribution utility, which in this case is Meralco, goes into this grid tie limiter, which is actually a load monitor, and then it goes out again, and I have it for two MTS because I, tra I separated the outlets and the lights of the house, so I could power it separately. So it goes inside the house after this MTS and then on this part is the solar charge controller. It's a Epsolar Tracer 4215DN and what I'm using as a pure sine wave inverter care of uh, brightpower.ph so it's just a 1000 watt pure side wave inverter I'm charging two VRLA deep cycle batteries by NPP it's a NPD 12-100AH so this is a 200AH combined giving me about 1,200 watt R at 50% depth of discharge. Alright. So let's check on the solar charge controller. So since this is an MPPT, as you can see, the panels is actually rated at about 40 volts, but it's converting that volts into amperes, so it could still charge the batteries. Still charging at 1.5. So it's pretty good. I'm satisfied. So taking a look, look now at the grid tie inverter with limiter or a GTIL. This was conceived by uh, Hertz Blaster X of YouTube or Hertz Blaster of TipitPC.com and Facebook. Uh, you could also find them at facebook.com slash solar power Philippines. So, this one, utility power means this is what the house is currently consuming, 230 watts. The inverter is only producing 44.7 watts. Let's check on that. Right, 44.7. So, I just turned it on so it's not registering anything produced yet. The house, however, has consumed 2.6 kilowatts since I installed this last night. And that's it. I'll check on later around uh, lunchtime it's, since it's still 7 a.m. here. Thank you. Goodbye.